Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me using this caffeinated kit from Sweet Choir Design. I've held on to this for quite a while and I'll get into why I'm using this kit and not other kits. But um, yeah, let me flip through the kit first and then I will start chatting with you. So um, it's no surprise to people who watch my channel, but I love coffee and um, iced hot I'll, I'll do it all, but I love these little checklists. I like that there's only four things to write in. Um, I usually like longer checklists, but right now things are just so weird. I don't have, like, too much going on. So I have the weekend banner, some icons here, your headers, and then page two has full boxes and some typography. Page three has some has your weekly schedule, some more full boxes, habit trackers, and icons. Page four has your half boxes and quarter boxes. And then page five has your bottom washi and day covers. So I'm going to be pulling in a few things of washi here and there as well. Um, but yeah, let me, let's just go ahead and get into it. I am planning for the week of April 20th through the 26th. As I am planning this, I am super, super bummed. Um, we were supposed to be doing our gender reveal on the 25th of this week, so... With everything that is going on, the state of Kansas and Missouri are still under the stay-at-home self-quarantine order and we thought initially like we were kind of hopeful that we could push this into May and we'd kind of given up hope on having a gender reveal in April but we thought maybe May, like would it be enough that we could at least maybe have family and friends um, like come congregate in a circle with cars and kind of do it that way and do a gender reveal and try and still be in person. But with the order being extended in Kansas through May 3rd, that took out our first weekend of May and then actually like the Kansas City metro area which we're not in but we're very close to has extended theirs until May 15th um, as of right now we're scheduled for hair appointments that weekend in Wichita so uh, couldn't really plan on doing a gender reveal then I have no idea right now if like hair appointments are going to happen, but guys, I have to remain hopeful and if things happen, then it's amazing and if they don't, I'm just so used to being disappointed at this point. So my husband and I kind of talked about it last night and we know we could keep pushing the gender reveal out further into the summer because I'm not due until September 2nd. In doing so, we are running into potential baby shower dates, and um, the potential things being kind of normal, and people being busy and doing things. So we decided last night after kind of talking it over that we would go ahead and just do an online virtual gender reveal party, which does make us very sad <laughs> but now that we've kind of started doing a few things with it just I mean really within the last like less than 24 hours we've been trying to get things together for this um, it's kind of exciting I guess I mean we're excited we wish we so so wish that we would be able to do the skydiving reveal that we had originally planned on doing, but it's going to be alright. We have a backup plan. My dad's wife right now had a pretty good idea, and we're kind of utilizing it. Also stressful to try and utilize that idea because 
Uh, as you may know, you can't really get things online right now that aren't classified as essential. A lot of the ship and delivery dates are in May, and we were planning on doing our online gender reveal on May 2nd. And that's what we're doing, but I was like last night trying to get the things that we needed to be able to do our video for our gender reveal. It was really hard to get that stuff. And it just made everything really frustrating, and I'm sorry my phone keeps going off. It's a bunch of work stuff, and I'm on like a chain email, and everyone keeps responding back to it. But I moved my phone, so hopefully you won't hear it go off every two seconds. Um, so yeah, it was a little bit of a panic last night, because I'm like, dang it, like we finally decided we're okay with doing an online party, and now you're telling me I can't get the stuff that I want for my online party and it was a bit stressful but I think we got what we needed I guess we'll find out Monday when it arrives in the mail if it is for sure what we needed um, but we've got a pretty good backup that I'm excited about and it just goes to show we'll have to have another kid so we can do our skydiving gender reveal like we had planned because we were very very excited about that and so were a lot of people so Oh well, life goes on, right? So, I was supposed to be planning for the gender reveal this week. I have a kit picked out for that. And we're clearly not doing that. So, I still have that rainy days kit. However, next week looks pretty nice weather. So, I think I would... Like, I wanted to do something a little bit happier and cheerful, so I went with the caffeinated kit because all I want right now is to drink coffee 24 7 and I can't. One, I need to be drinking water, like, that's just hydration, you know, guys. <laughs> but I also can't have the amount of caffeine that I was drinking pre-pregnancy so I can have decaf which is what I'm drinking right now while I'm planning just because the weather is so nasty today um, not too far north of us they're getting almost half a foot of snow so I guess I'm thankful that we are just dealing with the like the cold and dreary I'm looking at my nails while I'm doing this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to take my Easter nails off. Yikes. <laughs> I'm lining these headers up just a little bit higher than I normally would, which sometimes makes them go a little crooked or very crooked because I don't really have a line to go off of. So that's kind of why you're seeing me struggle here. Um also kind of just hoarded this kit because it's kind of like the perfect neutral kit. You could pretty much use this any time of the year. It doesn't really matter because it's not season specific. I mean if anything it'd be maybe fall or winter specific just because it's hot drinks but I drink hot drinks in the summer as well so it's whatever. While I'm laying this down, I'm going to go ahead and speed you guys through the rest of me. I'm going to finish off this last header, put down the bottom washi, date covers, probably go into the sidebar. I also have the matching $2 Tuesday sheets with this kit, so if I need an extra half box or full box, I have those at my disposal. So. All right, I'm gonna speed you guys through and I'll see you in just a second.
Alright, so I have everything going so far pretty smoothly. I pulled in some washi from Simply Gilded. I had pulled out a bunch of my coffee um, washi, which I might maybe run this down there somewhere. I really love those coffee beans. Um, but I think with just how busy this is and all the coffee cups, I just felt like something a little bit more... Um, I wouldn't say plain, because Simply Gilded Washi is not plain, but a little less in your face, I guess. Um, I'll be tracking the same things on my sidebar that I usually do, I think. Um, I'm going to do, for sure, water and reading, and then workouts I may be putting in here a little bit differently. So, maybe I'll do... I don't know, I'll ponder that, but I'm going to do my steps here, so I'll pull out icons for that later. Um, as far as plans go, I have two bills due next week, so I'm going to put those in first. I'm going to use the Poe, just because I don't think George makes an entrance into this kit. So, both of my bills are on Monday, so I'm going to put those in at the bottom. Alright, so we got those down, and then on Friday, it will be my husband's payday, so I want to use a quarter box for that. I guess I should probably put down the weekend banner before I forget, because I already had. Alright, looks good. I don't have plans <laughs> this week. Um for most of the week. So Monday, I'm just going to kind of put down icons and, or, um, like functional stuff, and we'll go from there. I was kind of thinking that it might be cool to put my workouts in on a quarter box, but I don't know. I thought about it for this week, but I'm not sold on the idea, so I'm not going to this week. But I'm going to put in a full box here at the top. It's a functional full box. Both of them in this color were functional. And then I think a half box will fit there. Yeah, I, I was kind of afraid of that. Like, there would be just enough too much space. So let's put a quarter box in instead. Let's do a quarter box here above the bills and then I'll have that space to put in an icon and write. That'll be just fine. Although it looks crooked but I don't think it is so I'm gonna leave it. Tuesday I take out the trash um, there isn't a trash sticker in this kit, so I'm going to just pull that in with the rest of my icons. I do want to use this $2 Tuesday typography, just because it's already with the kit, so I don't have to pull that out. And then I'll have the Freebie Friday one as well. Tuesday, I only have, the only thing I have written down is that trash, so... I can definitely use a full box and other stuff. Mm, let's put the half box on first. I love the most about Sweet Quiet Design that you can pick up your stickers and replace them throughout the week because I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing most days, so I'm going to use this for I'm going to use this full box here first I drink the coffee and then I do the things which is so true I start every morning with my espresso drink <laughs> and then I think I'll put the quarter box all the way at the bottom just to cover up those lines And then, depending on how much room 
I do have this little flag, and I normally don't use the flag icons, but this will kind of fill up the space nicely. I'm going to do it this way, though, I think. Yeah, I can layer an icon over top of that, or, you know, I can push it over. But I'm going to put it down as, like, a placeholder to remind myself that this is the sticker that I want to use here, and then I can switch things around as I see fit. But Wednesday, I'll charge my Fitbit, and I was supposed to go to an all-day conference this day. It uh coronavirus, so I need to see. I have three of these, like, pink full boxes, so I need to figure out which ones I want. I think I want to use Insert Coffee to begin on Wednesday, and then this one on the weekend. So, they are definitely still doing the conference, it's just going to be all online, and instead of it being a full day with like a lunch break, they're going to cram everything in the morning, and then we'll be done by lunchtime, which I'm thankful for, because now that I don't have to leave my house, like, I'm kind of feeling like, what's the point? <laughs> I'm excited to learn this stuff, but I think you guys know what I mean. Like, I don't mean what's the point as in it's not educationally relevant. I just, I don't know. Now I don't want to do it. So, I've got that. And maybe, maybe to perk myself up, I will go on a Starbucks run or to Zeb's and get myself a drink and come back and get on there. I don't know. That would, that would, that would actually be kind of fun. So maybe instead of doing this... Let me put a quarter box first, because that might motivate me and get me in like a happy mood. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try it anyway. So I'll put the quarter box down first, and I have a plethora of coffee stickers in here. So I'm going to put the iced coffee in hopes that next Wednesday it is going to be nice enough to have an iced coffee because that just that just sounds like it would make me so happy so let's put this full box in and that's where I'm going to write that online course and usually I don't put work stuff in here because I put it in my print pression but something like that is going to take up mm, a good chunk of my day. So I don't want to ignore it, I guess. And then let's do a half box at the bottom. Alright, perfect. Okay, going on to Thursday. Nothing planned, so... Um, I don't think I've put a full box down at the bottom yet. So let's go ahead and do that. And this one is cute. It's Poe looking all frazzled. And it said, life without coffee is scary. You can totally agree with this right now. I, I want more coffee than I'm allowed. And it's making me sad. Maybe let's do the half box. I don't know. Do I want to use the quarter box? So what I might do is put the flag... Well, let me do the quarter box right above that half box so I know how much room I have. And then I'll use that flag. That's crazy. Like, I really, truly, normally don't use the flags. And now I'm using both of them that came with the kit. Alright. Friday. Payday. Which... You guys know that this is my favorite money stack. I'm so excited when older kits have it in there. And... What else? I was going to put in the $2 Tuesday typography. I just need to find it. No, not $2 Tuesday. Freebie Friday. 
I'm like 99% certain I just said $2 Tuesday. All right, moving on. Putting things down. I have a functional full box. So let's use that here. And ooh, I am thinking that I will film my plan with me on Friday. I think. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put that sticker down on Friday in the hopes that that's the day that I'm actually going to get to it. I mentioned in my last plan with me that I'm trying to stay off of Saturdays just so I have time with my husband and I don't have to worry about it. I don't mind editing on Saturday if I need to, but filming and editing and trying to start the upload is a bit much. So I think I can put this here and then have room for a quarter box at the bottom. Except I've already used my quarter box, so <laughs> uh, let me, I guess, pull out that $2 Tuesday sheet. Saturday, I like starting my morning off with my husband going to Zeb, so we've been doing that the last few weeks just to support a local small business and it it just kind of gives us a reason and an excitement to get out of bed so there's that and then I think maybe I'll use the hmm, I thought about using the rise and grind but it's just not gonna flow well with the shape of the stickers and stuff so let me put this one here and then I'll write in our coffee date to Zeb's. I think I'll use my full box next and then I truly don't know what our plans are for next weekend. Possibly more like nursery room stuff. We're working on that this weekend. I know in my last plan with me that I said we'd be working on the garage, but honestly, I was so confused. We already cleaned out the garage. That was from the weekend before, so we just hadn't done it yet, which is why I was like, oh yeah, we need to do this, but um, I'm going to end up with awkward spacing no matter what I do, so I think I'll put the quarter box down and then maybe look at the banner. I just like having an excuse to cover up those lines, but I think the banner is going to be way too big for that space. A little crooked. That's alright. On to Sunday. No plans. So let's start with the full box. Okay, so let me zoom you out. All right, it's looking super cute. So off camera, I'm gonna go pull out my icons that I want to use, or at least the ones that I know that I need, and then I will put them down and see you at the end.
All right, guys, there is my finished spread. You noticed that I had to change some things around. I forgot my 21 week sticker. So I had a little bit of trouble spacing things out, but I've got it figured out. Also, I pulled in some typography from Little Pity Paper. So I went ahead and pulled out all of what I had that made sense with this spread and put those in there since they're the same font and like bold black um, color. So I think that's really all that I did that was different. Put a yoga sticker in. Um, I'm going to try and shoot for yoga every day or at least every other day. And then workouts and walks and stuff in between. So anyway, like always, I do PR for two shops. I PR for a little pity paper. Again, this is not my current freebie. I do have an order on the way, so I'll have my current freebie here soon. But you can use my code Kayla15 for 15% off your order. And then I do PR for Sweet Kawaii Design. And this is my current freebie through the end of April. And yep, that is it. You can use my code Kayla10 for 10% off your order and get this freebie. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me and next week I will be planning for my gender reveal party. So all right guys I will see you guys later. Bye guys.